Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get two different voice changers to help troll your friends or just random people in Fortnite or Discord or any gamer application that uses voice chat. Before I get into the video though, I just want to say if you're new to my channel and you'll see more videos like this one, make sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe with those notifications on so you can see whenever I have a new video out. Also make sure to check out my other media links in the description, like my Twitter, Discord, and second channel. And let's get on with the video. So first I want to clarify some things that yes, I am going to be showing you how you can get two different voice changers so you can choose which one do you prefer more to to use or you can choose to download both of them so you can have the maximum amount of voices possible whenever you're going to troll people. I definitely prefer one of these voice changers over the other and I think you guys will too but I decided I would show multiple just in case you didn't like them like I did. Also I want to say that I've had these voice changers downloaded for a little while and I haven't gotten any viruses or anything like that but I just want to say download at your own risk because I don't know 100% sure if these are virus free or not. I highly highly doubt they would have a virus but once again just download at your own risk. Alright so the first voice changer I'm going to be talking out and the one that I actually prefer more over the other one is called voice mod this is literally just basically the discord for voice changers like the user interface is great it's super easy to use and overall I just like it a lot more than the other one but once again I'm just saying I'm gonna be including another one in case you guys don't like this one as much now if you go to voicemod.net the link will be down in the description below if you want to go there uh, right when you go to the front page there's a download now button which basically you just click that and it downloads instantly this is for 64-bit uh, windows which I'm guessing most of you guys are on 64 64 bit. Uh, if you don't know, you just go to your system preferences in the bottom left. Also, one more thing if you're on console or something like that, I'm sorry, I don't know how to do this on console. This is all going to just be on PC, and I'm using Windows, Windows 10 specifically. So, if you're on console, I'm sorry, I don't really know uh, how to help you with that. I don't even know if you can get voice changers on console or not, but uh, yeah. So, obviously, I've already downloaded this. I don't want to download it again, uh, but basically, you just click the download now button. You go through the entire setup process. It's super easy and super quick. I don't even think I need to show you guys how to do that. If you guys have any questions about that setup process, leave a comment down below and I'll try to respond to those as fast as I can. But it is very easy and uh, pretty simple to download. All right, so once you download the application and you open it, this is what you'll see. You'll have your front page here. This is where you have all of the voices here. So as you can see, there's a lot of different voices. If you click the next tab, this is for voice mod pro users, which I'll talk about in a second. And then you have your volume, things like that. If you want to stop all sounds, like some uh, hotkeys or things like that, set those up over here. You have settings. This is basically where you mess with all of your inputs and stuff. I think it actually talks to you a little bit about that right when you open the application. If you don't know, there's literally a tutorial right here how to mess with the settings and stuff, but it's pretty simple as you can see here output devices, input devices, all this stuff here. And then here you can have a lot more uh, keyboard shortcuts like voice controls and things like that where you can have hotkeys on your keyboard. And then here is where you can activate your voice mod pro. Now, like I said a second ago, I was gonna talk about that, which I'm gonna do now. If you get voice mod and you don't buy the pro version or anything, Every single day, you'll get some free voices here. As you can see up here, I have seven or six different voices here. And then there's a share to win, where I'm pretty sure if you just share the application, you win a voice. But basically how this works is that every single day you get different voices. It's just pretty much random. So you can, uh, like, today I have Birthday Capella, Cop, Walkie Talkie, Crazy, Dark, Echo, and Sleepyhead. Tomorrow I'll have completely different ones. I think it's possible that you could have some overlapping ones. But as you can see, there's tons of voices here. So every single day you're going to have different voices to play with and stuff. I don't use voice changers enough to pay for the voice mod pro and i'll show the cost for that in a second now if i were using this voice changer all the time constantly non-stop i would definitely pay for voice mod pro because it's actually not too expensive for what you get like you have tons of voices here and i think it's definitely worth what it costs now if you click the get voice mod pro over here on the second tab you'll see that it's 20 dollars for lifetime or you can pay for three months which is five dollars or you can do ten dollars for a full year now, that's pretty good. I'd say $5 for three months is pretty good because that'll give you a chance to actually figure out if you're going to be using this voice changer a lot or not. And then obviously right here, it shows you what you get with Voice Mod Pro. You get to enjoy all the voices. It's They're not just like random ones you get every day. Custom voices, voice maker, unlimited sounds, favorites, and keybinds. And I'm pretty sure whenever there's holidays and stuff, this lifetime is discounted at $15. So $15 and you get to have all these voices for free, which I think is pretty good. Also, just saying I'm not sponsored by them or anything. Like, I honestly just think this voice changer is much better than a lot of the other ones I've seen. So if you're planning on using this voice changer a lot, or you just want to test out all the voices, $5 for three whole months of it really isn't even that bad. So that's the first voice changer application, one that I think is better. Now the other one, you don't have to pay for the voices, and there's some more free voices that you have, but I don't think they're as good as some of the ones that you can get here. Now the next voice changer we have is called the Clownfish Voice Changer. Once again, the link to this site will be down in the description. Now once you're here, you can go scroll down to the downloads, or you can just click the download tab and it'll take you straight down there. Fairly easy. 
Once again, most of you guys are probably using a 64-bit Windows 10. So you can get this middle one. I'm pretty sure the middle one is the one that you get. I don't know what the difference is between these two. I'm not really too sure. Or if you're 32-bit, then you get that one, of course. But if you're on like a gaming PC or anything like that, very, very high chance that you have a 64-bit. So what you do, you just click that, it'll download once again. I've already downloaded this, I don't want to download it again. If you have any questions about the downloading process, leave a comment down below. I will try to uh, reply to those as fast as I can. But once again, it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Just download it, click on it, go through the setup process, and then open up the application. All right, so once you have the Clownfish Voice Changer actually downloaded, it'll be here on your desktop. What you do is you double click on it, you click Set Voice Changer, which is right under where you turn on and turn off the Voice Changer, which once again, that's where you'd go to actually turn on the Voice Changer and whatnot. You just double click, and if it says Turn On, you click that it'll turn on the voice changer turn off click that it'll turn off the voice changer now you click set voice changer and then here you have all your options all these are free you have alien atari clone mutation fast mutation slow mutation male pitch female pitch healing pitch baby pitch radio and robot so in that regard it's actually better than the voice mod voice changer because you actually have more free options but if you paid for the Voice Mod Pro, then you'd have way more options than the, than the Clownfish Voice Changer. And then you can go and mess with the pitch. So it might be a good idea to listen to yourself or uh, to like record your voice, listen to what it sounds like, and then adjust it like that. Now, if you want to actually make these female, male, or baby pitch actually work, just the Voice Changer isn't going to work by itself. You're going to actually have to alter your normal voice as well. Like if you're trying, if you're female going to male pitch, you're, you might want to talk in a lower tone so that it matches better. You can't just talk with your normal voice, put on the voice changer and have it sound completely different. It'll sound a little bit uh, like helium, it will. So you'll need to alter your actual voice as well. Same thing if you're going male to female, you'll just need to have a higher voice, talk with a higher pitch, uh, and then use this pitch slider to help you with that. And then the same thing with the baby pitch. If you naturally have a higher pitch voice, then you won't have to adjust, adjust the pitch as much or change your voice, but if you naturally have a deeper voice, then you'll have to raise your voice, the tone of your voice, and then mess with the pitch more so that it sounds more natural. Now the Clownfish voice changer will automatically just go on to your uh, actual mic. So here I have it turned off. As you can see, I just click turn on. You double click on the application on your desktop, click turn on, and then it'll turn on the voice changer for your mic. But make sure you actually click on something like one of these icons so it actually selects what voice changer you want to use. And then this is how you actually put the voice mod voice changer into your uh, application or game or whatever you're using. I'm going to show this in Discord, but it's the same exact thing for every single other game. So no matter what you're in, you want to open the settings. Go to wherever it has voice and video. For Discord, it's in the bottom left, this little gear. Click user settings. Over here on the left side, you'll see under app settings, you'll have voice and video. You want to click on that. And then pretty much every game that has a voice chat will have a voice or video or settings like that where you can change your input and output. So here, obviously, I have my normal input as my Arctis 5 headset. Which one do you? You want to click that drop down. And then you want to change it to the voice mod virtual audio. And then inside the actual voice mod application, that's where you'll choose uh, what headset it goes to or what microphone it goes to so I could choose whether it goes to my Yeti Which is what I'm using right now to record in OBS or I can make it go to my headset mic right now I have it going to my headset mic. So obviously you guys aren't hearing the voice changer, but once you have the voice mod uh, Thing put into your input and then once you actually turn on the voice changer in the voice mod application Then it will work That's something that I see a lot of people have problems with is that they go through they download the whole voice mod everything They select the voice changer they want but then they don't go in and actually change their input device to the voice mod virtual audio Microphone so it's very important make sure it's under that and if there's also a save button or something like that Make sure you press that but most games or applications don't have that press escape and then you're good Turn on the voice changer in the application then you can go join a call or anything like that and talk to your friends with the voice changer and uh, yeah guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like down below. Comment what voice changer you're going to be using and if this helped you at all. Once again, all the links to everything in the description below. And if you have any questions or you're having any problems with these voice changers, leave a comment down below and I'll try to help you to the best of my ability. And uh, yeah, have fun trolling people and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.